Hey, what's up, Scott Balkum here, and I'm with Kessler Crane today, and we are talking about motor tuning for your Kessler Cine Shooter. So you just got your Kessler City Shooter and wow, you are impressed with the speed and power that it has. And with great power and great speed comes great responsibility. And the Kessler City Shooter has a great response ability. And that's through the motor tuning. So the, the unit itself can move at a very fast rate. Now that is not always desirable. So the first thing we're gonna do is press menu. It's gonna reboot it, it's gonna bring it up into the main section, and we're going to go down into motor options. Select that, and you'll see there is a thing called fast mode. Fast mode allows the Cine Shooter to basically cheat some of its parameters and get a little bit faster here and there. Uh, that is up to you to turn it on or not, but it doesn't hurt either way. It's just an additional speed enhancer in certain circumstances. Over here, quiet mode, it will take your city shooter and slow it down to a maximum RPM. That maximum RPM is basically the RPM that you could start to detect the motor sound. That way, if you want to keep a nice quiet set, well, you can do that through there. Now, the next options come from the app itself. And so you can tune even greater in the app. So first you wanna to connect to your City Shooter through Wi-Fi. Once you have connected, open your City Shooter app and it should, there it is, initializing device, it's coming up. Now, where we have the control. So right now, we have a pan and a tilt. It's just a two axis. And if we go down here and click on the little gear in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see down here motor configuration. Now we're gonna go to the pan axis and click, and you'll see there's a several different options here. Maximum setup speed, maximum move speed, setup dampening percentage, and move dampening percentage. What this is, this is the maximum RPM that the motor will turn during a setup phase. And then the max move is the maximum RPM that it would turn during its actual move phase. And then the dampening is how much it will ramp into that, that RPM. So if this was set to zero, by clicking on it, we can choose zero, and we can go back, motor configuration, and done. We're set at setup speed at 10,000 RPMs, which is the maximum, and we have zero dampening, which means when we run this thing, it is going to go really fast. And, you know, it, it can get a little jerky because it is capable of going full speed. Now that may not be desirable because, well, your finger is not that accurate. So what we could do is if you need that really fast speed, we could set up a damping for it. So let's go into motor configuration, go back to the pan, and let's change the dampening percentage. Oh, let's say, let's give it an extreme, we'll go 80%. And now we can go back and done. And now when we do it, you see it ramps up, and then when you let go, it'll always come to a stop quickly because that's a safety feature. But full blast the other way, it ramps up to it. Now, that is super handy and really helpful to keep your camera from jiggling around because it has so much torque and power and your finger might not be you know, stable or smooth or you know, you're just moving around on the joystick. Now, the other option down here under motor configuration is the max move speed. Now, the max move speed is the speed at which the motor can run getting between each of your keyframes, one through 10 on the app here. And again, if you set this to a low number, then that calculation of the amount of time that it can perform your move in, that will be slower and it would thus maybe maybe something that it could do at 10,000 rpms in three seconds because you set it down to a thousand rpms maybe it takes a hundred seconds to do that's math and the same thing here with the damping is the ability for it to ramp up to that rpm fast or gradually or smoothly so you may wish to set a max move dampening of maybe 50%. I like to keep mine around 10 because I like really quick movements, but 
you can adjust it to where you need it. So if you set this to 50, and we exit out, and now we're just going to set up a quick little move here. So let's move over to the left, and we'll set a keyframe there. We'll move over to the right. You set a keyframe here. So if we go in here and we see that our minimum move time is two seconds. So we could take this all the way down to two. And then ramping here, ramping, you can see how it does with the curves. It basically adds kind of like a dampening to it, but it does it on both the start and the stop of the motion. So now we have a minimum move time of two seconds. If we go down here to the gear, click on motor configuration, go to pan, and now we're gonna change the max move speed from 10,000 to let's say 1,000. Now we go back. Now our minimum time to complete is actually 12 seconds. We've, we've slowed it down, so it can't actually perform the move any faster. And you could take it all the way down if you'd like. Motor configuration, pan, and let's take it to 100. And now if we go in here and we calculate the minimum, it's now one minute and 54 seconds. So your move time and your dampening will have a direct effect on the performance speed that it can do. Your setup RPMs and the dampening will have a direct effect on how fast you can set up your move and or how smooth that setup is. Now you want to find a good balance on set with these times because you want to be able to set up your moves quickly but safely as well. So you might set your setup speed at least half of the performance speed, maybe a quarter. That way you can safely move around when people are moving around. And then when you go to performance, you can clear the set and make it much safer and or faster in that case. But there's a lot of things you can do with the motor tuning on this. And all of these parameters work in their chaos software as well. So now you have a grasp on motor tuning. We can't wait to see what you do with it. And if you have any questions along the way, the good folks at Kessler Crane at KesslerCrane.com uh, are happy to help you. If you just head on over to the support section, there's a frequently asked questions. You can submit a travel ticket. You can talk to the live human. You can email them. There's a lot of different ways you can talk to them over there at Kessler, and they're happy to help. And again, we cannot wait to see what you do with your new Kessler Cine Shooter. Mm -hmm.